All right, we're moving to the next phase of the break-in burn, and I want to clear up a couple of questions that I get from people. Uh, one of the things they want to know is what's the difference in the fire uh, and the flame inside the firebox uh, between when the fan's off and when the fan's on. And I also want to show you uh, if I can get it here. We're we're getting a little late on this, but there's the uh, chimney. This stove just went through a cycle of shutting down the induction fan, and you can see there's some smoke coming off that. Uh, not a lot of smoke, but that's, as I had told you earlier, that's when you get your smoke at the beginning and the end of the cycles. Uh, so that's to be expected. Now I'm going to open the door and show you what we have. There's no induction fan running. The fan's been shut off here for a few minutes. And I want to show you this is what we've designed in at Hopsco uh, to save you wood. There's no sense burning wood when the house isn't calling for heat. So here's the fire choked down with not the house not calling for heat now I'm going to crank that thermostat back up and we're going to turn the induction fan on it just came on and you see an immediate change in the exhaust when the induction fan comes on and and I'll try to see if we can get this but the induction fans on now and if you remember what you saw earlier uh, what we're seeing now is basically just vapors uh, coming off that chimney cap and so it's it's in clean burn mode and when that induction fans on that's what you're expected to see uh, off that exhaust stack for this unit it's it's really a, a very clean burning by design stove uh, so now I'm going to open the door and I'm going to show you what it looks like uh, when that induction fans on and we got clean combustion going on there's virtually uh, when I look up there now I can see just heat vapor coming out of that exhaust And there's what we got for flame uh, right now with with that with the uh, the induction fan on. People ask me that there's there's quite a difference uh, in the fire. And our intent is and and uh, Scott's intent when he designed this stove was there's no sense burning wood if we're not calling for heat. So you can see we got a roaring flame going there. The induction fans on. And that's what heats that air chamber up uh, and creates the heat that heats your house. So that's an example of uh, what, what you should expect with your stove when when you uh, have that induction fan on you should have a strong flame a roaring flame as long as you have seasoned wood uh, you have uh, a clean chimney you don't have a blocked induction uh, area down in the bottom uh, one of the things you always want to keep track of down at the uh, down in the bottom on the uh, clean out area there's in the very back of that what you should look at before you ever start running your stove is in the back left hand corner is where your air comes into the 
stove and it comes in under the grate by design to create uh, air coming up under so that any ambers in here at all will start that fire going. Uh, it relights after several hours just from coals. Another uh, great job that Scott did with designing this stove. And in the back, in the upper part, uh, you always want to make sure that there's no creosote that's built up there and blocked off that opening that you don't let ashes build up too deep in that area to block off the opening. Uh, so those are a couple maintenance items to keep in mind as you operate your stove. Uh, those are things that typically could be an issue. Now, there's, there's your fire going with the induction. I threw a couple pieces on since our earlier uh, run, but that's the kind of flame you'd expect if you open the door up with the induction fan running. Uh, that, that's the kind of fire you should have. If you don't, then there's an issue there somewhere and, and we need to troubleshoot what it is. But uh, all right, that'll end uh, this video, and uh, the next one we'll talk about the blower fan uh, operation of it coming on and off as the heat chamber uh, comes up to temperature and cools back down, and we'll go over safety devices. So that'll finish this segment of the break-in burn, and uh, next time we'll show you the whole completed uh, system here and uh, operation.